Well, the contract between New York City and DocGo, the company hired to place migrants, has ended. However, the Upstate New York program has been extended through the end of the year with DocGo. With this update, we checked in on the status of the program here in Rochester, based in a hotel downtown. Isabel Garcia spoke with the leaders assisting new arrivals and heard from people living at the hotel. She joins us now in studio with more on this story. Isabel. Yes, Adam, families first began arriving to Rochester by buses from DACO out of New York City back in August. I'm told it's far fewer arrivals each week at this point, and there are much more efficient systems now in place. Maria Garcia is the program director of the Western New York Coalition of Farm Worker Serving Agencies. The group acts as a bridge, if you will, to coordinate connecting individuals and families with the range of services they may need, encompassing about 45 other organizations. I'm told to date they have assisted more than 370 individuals since August, with approximately 24 families currently remaining sheltered at the hotel. In a week, we're able to get done what most people take months to do. So on Monday, you know, they arrive, we kind of get them settled in. By Tuesday, they're seeing, you know, Finger Lakes uh, Health to get a health assessment, behavioral assessment. Um, they, on Wednesdays, they are meeting with legal to determine the basis of their case. Yulia Corsisano arrived by DACO bus in Rochester at the end of December. She had been living in New York City for months prior after escaping a dangerous domestic abuse situation in her home country of Colombia. She expresses deep gratitude for the welcoming in Rochester, stating there is access to food, transportation, medical needs on site. She does note one of her biggest challenges living at the hotel with her two children is no kitchen to cook homemade meals. I have four kids, but I brought two of my children with me. One of the main reasons is because my son needed to have medical care, and now we're in the process of obtaining medical care for him. Um, we don't have the same services in my country, so coming here to the United States where I can see that they can provide the medical and health care that he needs, um, and also they give you opportunity to grow and study. Gerardo Jean has been living at the hotel for some time as well. He left his home country of Haiti, currently plagued with gang violence and no active president. Jean and his wife and children will soon be able to relocate in Rochester to more stabilized living. He is going to be moving out tomorrow. He secured an apartment um, with the support of other community agencies. Something that we have to keep in mind is that even though that we're providing services to the community, it's a distinct community. It's coming, you know, with unfortunately um, a lot of trauma. A lot of situations that happen to them, and we have to train our uh, staff, right, for the different organizations as well on how to be working with this population. I'm also told there's security and safety meetings with partners such as Rochester Police, the Fire Department, schools, and more. On a weekly basis, there's also confirmed there are still National Guard members on site. For now, we'll send things right back to you at the desk. Isabel, thank you.